Ooh. Hey y'all! Before we start the video, let me state three fun facts. I haven't done my eyebrows in two months, I have no pants on, and this room is like a million degrees. I feel like a potato, people. Anyway, today I wanted to talk about something that I really, really love, and I don't know why I have never shared it with you guys. Essential oils. I got some the other day, and I was like, dude, I should totally talk about this. So, what is an essential oil? An essential oil is an extremely, extremely, extremely concentrated extract from one specific source. They're really, really strong, but they have like tons of uses. So, let me show you my essential oil collection. Oh yeah, what? It's really hot in here. <laughs> so I have five bottles of essential oils. I have rosehip oil, argan oil, and peppermint oil by the brand Go Pure Naturals. I also have two little bottles of peppermint oil and tea tree oil by the brand Arakashia. So I'm just gonna show you guys a few ways that I use my essential oils. I like to mix my conditioners with argan oil. Remember, these things are really, really concentrated, so five to 10 drops will do the trick. Rosehip oil is really popular for adding elasticity to the face, so a lot of people add rosehip oil to their lotion. And now we're going to get to my favorite essential oils, okay? Peppermint and tea tree. Mm -hmm. I don't know about y'all, but when I wash my hair, I love to have that burning sensation of peppermint, like... <gasps> it just feels so good. So what I like to do is I like to grab my peppermint oil and I put 10 drops of peppermint oil into my shampoo. The peppermint just really brings a lot of tingling to my scalp while I wash it and it feels awesome. I also put 5 drops of tea tree oil so they can be more cleansing for my scalp. Another thing that I really like to do is that I grab a spray bottle full of water and I put five drops of tea tree oil and five drops of peppermint oil and I use it as a room freshener. I use it on my shoes, my pillows, my blankets, in my closet. I just spray it around my room really quick before there's company. It leaves my room smelling nice and fresh. Another really popular use for essential oils is aromatherapy. If you have like a professional little aromatherapy kit thing, you know how to use them. Personally, I don't do aromatherapy and I have no idea why. Why don't I do aromatherapy? What the heck? I've heard it has like amazing benefits and I just, I've never, what's wrong with me? I do do a form of aromatherapy. I like to like grab my peppermint oil and just like, Ugh. it actually brings my respiratory tract to life. It just feels so fresh and like clean and there and I'm just like, oh yes. Now here's one thing about essential oils. They're kind of expensive. They shouldn't be over $20, but they're usually around $10 or more. I know it sounds like, oh my gosh, $10 for that little bottle. But like I said, these are very concentrated solutions. So you only need like five to 10 drops. So they last a really long time. You can literally just put them in whatever the heck you want. Lotions, shampoos, conditioners, leave-in conditioners, DIY masks. I'm telling you guys, this stuff is awesome. Everyone, you should have at least one bottle of peppermint essential oil, come on. If you're curious to where I bought my essential oils, I'll leave links in the description so that you can check out their site. You can buy essential oils online. I always order stuff online, like I don't even go to stores anymore. <laughs> you can also check out health food stores like Whole Foods, New Seasons, and Chuck's Produce. Alrighty, I hope you guys learned something new today, and if not, watching anyways. Bye!